We're going to Walter Reed Hospital and we're going to be seeing soldiers, our great heroes, our wounded and some badly wounded and they're incredibly brave and great people. And we're going to see also the warriors on the front line of COVID and quite a few of them. And we're going to spend some good time with them. And I look forward to doing it and it'll be my honor to be there. Well, I'll probably have a mask if you must know. I mean, I'll probably have a mask. I think when you're in a hospital, especially in that particular setting where you're talking to a lot of soldiers and people that in some cases just got off the operating tables, I think it's a great thing to wear a mask. I've never been against masks, but I do believe they have a, a time and a place. He didn't say that. No, the Attorney General, uh, about a week or two ago, had made a statement, but that was long before anybody knew what I was going to do. Roger Stone was treated horribly. Roger Stone was treated very unfairly. Roger Stone was brought into this witch hunt, this whole political witch hunt, and the Mueller uh, scam. It's a scam because it's been pr proven false. And he was treated very unfairly, just like General Flynn is treated unfairly, just like Papadopoulos was treated unfairly. They've all been treated unfairly. And what I did, what I did, I will tell you this, people are extremely happy because in this country they want justice. And Roger Stone was not treated properly. So I'm very happy with what I did. He, I commuted his sentence. And by commuting, he now has the right to go and, hey, look, he had a forewoman, quiet, quiet, quiet. He had a forewoman, he had a forewoman who was horrendous. She should have never been on the jury. The judge should have so ruled, the judge didn't do that. Take a look at the record. The judge didn't do that. Take a look at the forewoman. He should have had another trial. Roger Stone was treated very badly. Now, take a look at Comey. Take a look at McCabe. Take a look at the two lovers, Strzok and Page. Take a look at all these people that are walking around and they lied to Congress and they leaked and they did everything else, a lot of other things. Take a look at Biden, Sleepy Joe. Take a look at Obama and they spied on Donald Trump's campaign. Those are the people, let me just tell you something, those are the people that should be in trouble. Thank you. Thank you.